Hi, in today's video I'm going to show you how to connect Android Auto with your new 2022 Toyota Corolla. Hello again, so I just got myself 2022 Toyota Corolla and I was trying to connect Android Auto yesterday uh, but I had a bunch of problems and I couldn't find a really good video on that uh, issue and uh, some of the videos were showing that once you connect uh, your phone with the cable that is included with this Toyota car into the system and you have Android Auto already installed everything should work uh, well in my situation it does not work so so I'm gonna go step by step if there's gonna be some little hiccups I'll show you how it's done so if I find so that something doesn't work then I'm just gonna edit it and I'm gonna give you the final solution in this video so let's start so what I figured out so far is that first you need to enable uh, different settings on Android Auto on your phone first so I'm going to go into first let me just go make it a little bit brighter so I'm gonna go into my settings and I'm gonna go to apps and then when you go to Android Auto then you have a lot of things that I think uh, have to be enabled before I can actually connect it so uh, you have permissions that they need to be allowed notifications they need to be allowed then as you can see on the Android Auto I have all of sound and vibrations and notification categories I want all of those to be enabled then we go lower to appear on top change system settings should be allowed alarm reminders allowed up details and I think on the battery I'm gonna use unrestricted now I'm going to connect it with the included cable and I get welcome to Android Auto once you this is connected I think this was the step that I was missing last time now I'm gonna click next turn on the Bluetooth parent sync with your contacts so I'm gonna make sure that my Bluetooth is connected let me double check that my I think I've already done that but let me go and check my connections my Bluetooth Toyota Corolla is connected okay so I'm done with this now I'm gonna click next change location settings I'm gonna turn it on and voila and right now I should be able to do everything on the screen from my phone so I'm gonna click OK and it needs to turn notification access from your phone so go to phone so I have on my phone on your phone you need to turn Android Auto notifications so I'm gonna click this on so I'm gonna click allow and now everything from my phone is on my Android Auto so we have maps let's click maps and beautiful everything works okay so this is the button that goes returns you to back okay phone and we have Spotify and we have messages okay so everything seems to be set up here's also a couple of other things that you may want to change so once you are in your settings you click apps then you go to Android Auto if you go all the way to the back in-app notification settings and also you may want to customize it too so in-app notifications allows you to customize the launching sequence of your apps so I want my maps of course to be on top and then messages for example to be on top phone oh, could be second and you have Spotify I can move it on top so you can customize those icons 
Second one, connected cars. This is my car. And I think the most important thing is add the new cars to Android automatically. Now another option, hey Google detection, if you want that. Uh, while driving works in Google Maps and Android Auto. Okay, so this is on. Good. I'm gonna go to day and night mode, so this is okay. Start Android Auto while locked. This should be on. Start music automatically. You may want to choose this on and off. I'm gonna choose this off. You can have a Google Assistant work with that. Uh, driver seat location set by the car or left and right. Show conversation, show group conversations, play conversation, chime. Uh, wireless projection, this should be on uh, to allow this phone to project everything onto the screen. System Google Analysis, you want to turn it off and off. If you want, I'm going to turn this off. Privacy, safety and version. Okay, so that's it with this. So now next time, once Android Auto is set up, when you plug in the cable into your car, it says Android Auto connected. All you have to do is just click the map button on the, on the screen and then you're good to go. And you can go back to see all the other apps that you have set up. Okay guys, so this is how you go through the setup process to set up your Android Auto in 2022 Toyota Corolla. If you like my video, give me a thumbs up. If you have any questions, send me a message. You have my email in the information of my channel. I'll be more than happy to answer your questions. Subscribe and then I'm gonna post more videos about this 2022 Toyota Corolla features in the next couple of days while I'm gonna be test driving the car. And when I see something interesting, I'm gonna give you an update. Thanks for watching guys. Goodbye.